now it's just become so accepted. The first night the smoking ban came in, um, a few of my friends, we, we weren't really keen to go out, but we thought, ah, well, we'll have a little joke, we'll have a little pint in a smoke-free pub. And it was raining. It was really, really horrible, horrible weather. And yet the smokers were just outside, outside the doorways, smoking and getting getting wet. Uh, it was taken really well. But Scotland, heart disease is a huge problem in Scotland. And yet we we took responsibility and we made something there. Yeah, there is a huge point of pride. It's something I really appreciate. Uh, and personally, it's now got to the stage where more and more countries take up the smoky man. The places that don't have it suddenly seem slightly less enticing. Because you think, well... Why do I want to go there when I know that I'll have to breathe in all the smoke and so on? And it's 18 months now in Scotland since the smoking man. The results said something along the lines of the heart disease has dropped as well. So it's actually had an impact. I think it's a good thing, even though I'm a smoker myself, because it makes me smoke less. Uh, it makes me spend less money on cigarettes. No, no, I was always in favour of the smoking ban because Scotland's such an unhealthy country. Now all the pubs are clean, so the non-smokers don't get passive smoking either. So it's good for everyone. If you want to smoke, that's your choice. You go outside, yeah. and I, I think that's completely reasonable. It means pubs are like more open to you know families, people that don't like smoking more now can come in. And it's not a problem because obviously people were health conscious and blah blah blah. They didn't want to come in, breathe smoke, but they wanted to drink. They'd have to stay at home or whatever. But now. You know, everyone. Everyone can go to the pub and have fun, and not come, not come home having cancer. I, I, I do miss being able to smoke inside pubs, but I think it's a better move for the greater good. In 2004, there was no country with a smoke-free legislation. Now we have uh, smoke-free legislation in different parts of the world. We have Uruguay, we have New Zealand, we have Uganda, Iran. So it's going around in all kinds of parts of the world. And in Europe, in a period of three years' time, we have 11 countries we went smoke-free. So we're still another 30 to go, but each country which go makes it more feasible for the other countries.